Hey guys, Rob here and uh, welcome to my let's play of the Atlas Complex part 1. Uh, part 1 probably means that there is also uh, a part 2. I'm not sure about it if that, of, if that uh, exists yet. I think it does. Maybe uh, Or maybe it's in development, I don't know. But um, yeah, I, uh, I heard of this map. I haven't seen any kind of gameplay footage of it other than just the first few seconds, so... This is all gonna be a complete surprise for me. Ooh. Yeah, it looks much more atmospheric than I remember actually. That's nice. Alright. Got a shotgun. I think the ambient noises are a bit loud though, but other than that. Ooh. It's, uh, it's so good, uh, it's very good so far. Speaking of ambient noises, you uh, you might already know that I make some kind of ambient tracks. It's not really ambient tracks, it's, it is actual music. It actually has rhythms, melodies and stuff. I am actually quite... Uh, quite uh, far uh, by, with making the, uh, the soundtrack for the space map I showed off earlier. For the project brutality campaign and it's i have oh nice secret can i shoot that nope maybe i can open it nope yeah i'm actually quite far uh, in the process of uh, quite far done with the um with the soundtrack for the space map and uh, i'm re very happy to inform you that it's turning out really well i'm really happy with that soundtrack the way it goes and it's also something very unique. I didn't just want to do stereotypical noises or stereotypical red rhythms. It's really some kind of special dark synthwave stuff. And during the battles there is going to be full blown metal and, uh, and stuff. But during just walking through the dark space maps you're going to hear something very, uh, very atmospheric and disturbing. Soundtracks made by me. Yeah, it's really nice how things go sometimes. I never thought I would touch Fruity Loops ever again. I might think Fruity Loops, you can't make dark stuff in that. And I really understand why you might think that. Because most uh, things that people do is just happy techno and uh, R&B stuff and st stuff like that. But that doesn't mean it's impossible. In fact, it's very much possible. Just listen to my soundtrack for the for the boss battle I made, and you will see. And the um, the soundtrack for the spaceship that I made has that same kind of very dark and ominous uh, uh, an ominous vibe to it, but really on a different way. It's really like those classic sci-fi movies, like stuff you might hear in Alien, but also not quite. It's very hard to describe. It's very futuristic sounding, it has all weird kind of, uh, of Apache or synthesizers in it. And some kind of really weird 80s, uh, 80s kind of uh, tag melody. Very dark stuff again, it's not club music or anything. No fucking way. So yeah, I, uh, I can't wait to, uh, to, be, to be able to show that soundtrack off to you guys. Well, let you guys listen to it. Very weird to describe it sometimes. Showing off a soundtrack, that's, that's, not, that's not right. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Oh yes! Yeah! Finally! Take that! Crunch! Oh, there is so much, uh, much new cool dead animations in the upcoming build. I can't wait to show that to you. I have seen some amazing stuff over. Oh, come on, you son of a! I really hate those guys, man. Fuck them. Like you saw how he was just darting around there, and if he managed to get close, he explodes in your face when you shoot him, and it actually actually does quite a significant amount of damage. Especially when you have no armor. Which I don't. So that's not that's fucking great. So yeah, I can't wait to show off that, that soundtrack to you guys.
Oh, come on, you fucker. How many of those fuckers are there in here? Die, you asshole. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Who shot at me? Yeah, you see, they, they can really get you from a great distance. But so can I. Taste that grenade. Oh, yeah. Right. That's what we like to see. Oh. It's getting me hard every time. <laughs> what's wrong with me, man? So is there a term uh, that, that describes what's wrong with you? Ah, oh. oh, he didn't do the fatality. That's, that's sad. I sure I will get another chance. Because there are so many goddamn revenants in this map, it's not even fun. Oh, Jesus Christ, you fuck nerd. Good God, I hate those fuckers. Fuck! Ten health. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Fuck you. Oh. Give me health. Take that, fucker. Alright, punch. Oh, yeah. Kick him in the balls. Right. That sucked. That sucked. Do we have some mad kit left here? Probably not. And there are a lot of motherfucking revenants around here. Like, seriously, dude. Enough is enough. Okay. Careful. Careful. Bam! Yeah, come on. Ah, mesh, crunch. Yeah, now we're getting some help back. Oh. You see, I shouldn't say that kind of stuff. Because you know when you're seeing things like that, when it's, it's going very well, or you're going to have help back. That's not gonna stay like that if you say that. Because if you say it, it always goes wrong. Especially when you're recording. When you record, everything goes to shit. That's every Let's Player's... Every Let's Player's biggest... Uh... Ooh, I like to do three noises here. Uh... Yeah, I can't believe I didn't comment on that yet. I really love the Doom 4 uh, soundtrack here too. Oh yeah, if you if you for some reason not happy with the soundtracks I made, I yeah, uh, I will also tell you that it's it's not uh, oh crap, it is not sure yet, but we are maybe going to do something Doom Four like like we have it in more stages that there is some kind of dark ominous track when you're. Uh, when you're just walking through the level, I mean, there is a little bit of battle that turns up a notch. But we can't promise that. I mean, it's it's very difficult to do that in the musical department and in the coding department. Especially for an old game like this. I mean, every time you. Everything you see what, uh, on my channel is all done in the 24 year old game, so. It's really, really not that easy as it is, for example, if you make it use an actual modern engine or something. And sometimes it's very hard to be a representative of a, of a, of a, of a, of a teams like the ones for the Project Brutality campaign and the ones for Project Brutality itself. I mean, I, I am titled as office, official YouTube channel for them by the by the developer of Project Brutality himself. So. There are so many things that I'm not allowed to talk about and sometimes that, that can be hard to remember it all and it's very it's very exciting news all so I really have to be careful not to spoil things I shouldn't or say things about about future projects or anything. Of course there are gonna be future projects. The, the, 
it's a talented uh, talented developer like this is it gonna stop after all of this but what that is exactly going to be or what that is kind of maybe is supposed to be a little bit I can't tell you that at all but if it's going to happen what he, what he is planning you guys are gonna lose your shit I swear but again I can't see what it is I probably shouldn't even have said as much as I did already, so... But don't worry, man. It is not gonna be over after Project Brutality 3.0. The developer said that this is gonna be the final version. And that is, in for, to, so, to some extent, that's true. Am I actually, am I allowed to duck under here? I don't think so. so I'm not going to. Maybe I am, I don't know. Um, yeah, the, uh, the developer Project Brutality said that it's, it is going to be the final version. At least for him. And afterwards, I think I am allowed to say that. Uh, this. Afterwards, he's probably gonna... At least take a very long break of Project Brutality, but he is also part of the campaign team. He is actually active in our forum as well, and he said that he that he really wanted to extend his mapping skills because the developer of Project Brutality, well, he knows what he's doing, obviously. But uh, we never actually saw a map of him, and he said that he had quite some experience of that. Uh, of that stuff, with that stuff, so... Yeah. I'm just scrambling on, I'm not even thinking about playing the map right now, so I, I apologize if I just... Oh god, what the... He was fucking stuck there. But yeah, the, what is going to happen after the full release of Project Brutality is probably that... Uh, that the developer of Project Brutality is going to help... Uh, make the uh, the campaign oh okay it's going to help make the campaign and then after that I really can't tell you there are some plans that are maybe going to happen but that is not sure how we can promise anybody anything so but let me tell you if that's if it's going to happen it's gonna be great but well, you might uh, you might are getting sad though. For th is this the end of Project Brutality? No, it's not. And I will tell you um, a little bit of that. Um, at least the, the developer said that he's gonna take a long time. But that doesn't mean it has to be. Wait, I'm just gonna dug under this. I'm sorry if it's not uh, meant to be. I don't feel like walking in those hallways for hours. I probably missed some switch or some key or but whatever the fuck. Don't really care at, the point, at this moment. Oh shit, son of an ass. So yeah, what is... So it's, it doesn't even mean that the developer is gonna stop Project Brutality altogether, but what he is going to do... Is at least take a long break. Well, I, I told you that a lot of times, but I'm also trying to figure my way in this map. But he is also probably going to uh, going to uh, to look for somebody to take take over Project Brutality. So it's gonna get a new lead developer, and it's of course Painkiller wouldn't just give that to anybody. I mean, he is really looking careful for somebody that he is sure that he knows what, what he's doing. Because well, there are a lot of complaints about the balance of Project Brutality. But considering the amount of stuff that is in Project Brutality, it's, it's really a miracle that there is any kind of balance at all. And the balance is actually quite good. It's just very different than some other mods. And at some points it's not perfect, but hey, there's a new build coming up. And a lot of that stuff is, of course getting and uh, it got into consideration so yeah what I think would be the best but that's just <laughs> that's just really not up to me 
um, I think it would be best to uh, to to just leave uh, if if uh, Project Brutality is gonna have a new lead developer, that it's it's it might be best to have the uh, to have the team that works on the campaign because I think those people have the most knowledge of uh, Project Brutality scolding and stuff. Maybe. Maybe Ed would be a great director. I don't think it's wise to actually just put one person in charge of everything. I mean, for example, the zombie is the, is the lead developer for the Project Brutality campaign. And he's, he's absolutely a great leader and stuff. But I really don't think he is capable of the kind of coding that is going on in, in Project Brutality. He can code. But when it, when it really comes to it, he is better off just uh, being a great mapper. So, and Ito for example is our code guy, is our code guy. And he is just great at coding, but I don't, I, I'm not sure how he is about, how he is as an artist. I'm not saying he's a bad artist, I, n I just never saw anything of him before, so. I think it's it's better to actually have a team in charge of that instead of one person because our team is so great because we have so much different talents. I have uh, years of experience in Fruity Loops and I I made I used to make some aggressive and dark stuff. Uh, the zombie is a great mapper. We have a few more great mappers. Ito is a code guy. We have a voxel artist. We have a texture artist. And everyone as individual could have made the, pro the project as great as it is now. It's really a team effort, so I think that that's goes for Project Brutality as well. I think uh, it's best to leave to leave the zombie, uh, for example, as the director, maybe. Or maybe Eto, I don't know. But, uh, but let, let the Project Brutality campaign team be... Uh, Oh my god, I'm really... I really don't know where I'm supposed to go, man. And I can't talk because I have to think too much about where I'm going. How the hell did he get caught on fire? Oh well. But yeah, I think that's, that's best. But again, I have no... I have no... Uh, I have nothing to say in that. It's just my opinion. But I think that opinion makes a lot of sense. I mean, if he just uh, passes it over to one one person in the forum that he just happened to know, well, I don't know if it, it if it if it would turn out so great. But it looks like there is gonna be a project brutality 4.0 at some point. Of course, the, we can't say it anything about the data or anything. We can't even. God, man. Seriously, what am I supposed to do? It's getting really frustrating now. Because I can't think about where I'm supposed to go and talk I talk at the same time, but I feel like I have to talk. Because otherwise it would be boring to see me just aimlessly to this is why I shouldn't do less let's plays I think. I should uh, do walkthroughs so I where I actually know what I'm doing. I just I might just go into fucking no clip no man. I, I, that would have been very stupid and you if you're mad about that uh, for me at uh, doing that you would be totally right <laughs> because that would be ridiculous if I did that but well, on the other hand do you really want me to see uh, a, a hour uh, being lost in this map I don't think you will this sucks well oh god and everything is starting to look the same now oh wait you gotta be kidding me. Please tell me this is just a secret and not where you actually was supposed to go because that would be fucking ridiculous. It was where you actually needed to go. Fuck me. And oh god. I have a gut feeling that this is in. This is. This looks really cool by the way. So yeah, I. I have to practice those guys. It's not insta-kill. I was supposed to go here. Oh, that looks... I really like this idea, this frog in that elevator. Only gives me a doomed 
a Doom 3 vibe. What I what I don't like is the way it's coded. I mean, it 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 gives zero G. Oh no, it's not zero G. It's actually one. Look at my air supply. My I'm gonna drown and on the ladder. Look at this. I'm I'm gonna make myself uh, damaged by drowning. This is gonna be hilarious. My air supply is out and I'm drowning on the ladder. Yeah, that's that's stupid. That's just absolutely stupid there. Right there. But a very cool idea. I'm not sure how to code uh, uh, ladders. I, I mean, again, I have never made a map in my life. So, uh, <laughs> I, can, uh, I can only have respect for the things that are there. But that's that should be done on the, on the way that every other map it does. But you're not, but you can't drone on the ladder. Ah, oh, come on. You have to surround me with specters again. That That's getting so old. I mean, all of those dark horror maps do that. And it's not that bad, but come on. I, I've seen it so much already. Just having a dark map and then surround you with fucking specters. It's, it's getting old. Stop it. Yeah, ribbon. There, yeah, bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I really can't wait to show off the new dead animations. There are a lot. Uh, there are a lot I've seen already, and there are also a lot I, I didn't see already, so... If I just think about those sprites I saw, I am getting really, really hard and excited. Again, because I'm a sick fuck. So yeah, where the fuck am I supposed to go now? I'm 20 minutes in guys, it's, <laughs> I'm so sorry. This map should prob could probably be done in like a half hour or something. But... Wait. I, I guess I just have to look for the red door now then. I'm getting close to that, so that's good. Yeah, there it is. I hate it that you get stuck there. Okay, save that shit. Let's go on. Yeah, I should really balance myself a little bit better. Oh god. Oh, that was it? Alright. Well, uh, okay then. That was the Atlas facility. I clearly need a, le a lot of practice for that map. It's, it's a pretty cool map. Sometimes it's a little confusing, but it, it has some great potential. If there is a part 2, we're probably gonna cover that uh, soon enough. So yeah, I really think I have to uh, work on my balance a little because the uh, the m most time in my walkthroughs, or uh, let's plays, I mean, I I really start talking about the team and the dev and, uh, and the development and actually forget to play the map properly <laughs> because I'm just walking in there and my thoughts are all on the on the team. And give you guys information. And I know you, you guys probably like to be up to date. But the what, the let's play videos aren't the way to do that. I mean I made I made pure news videos already. So I should keep that commentary a little bit more on those. So I apologize man. I am doing this only for like 2 or 3 weeks. So I'm really getting used to the voiceover stuff still. So it's hard to, uh, to just judge wh when I should talk about what. So... I will probably uh, try to focus myself more on the gameplay next time and, and keep the news on the actual news things. I will of course give you some news but I mean I was rambling on for like 10 minutes uh, about uh, about some, uh, some stuff about the team and I completely forgot the gameplay so yeah. So okay I hope you guys liked it anyway. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Laters.